Celebrities go. How do you think London Milton looks so good? I am so there. There is a catch. It's a wilderness spa. That means it's in the wilderness. Right. And they don't want civilization intruding on their serenity. No radios, TVs, or any other form of communication with the outside world. What? Are they insane? How are we supposed to survive without any tunes, without our favorite shows, without even instant messaging? Come on, Chloe, it'll be fun roughing it. I don't think so. So who's in? Uh, does the spa have bathrooms? Totally. I'm in. Yay! Yay! And I know just what to wear. Yeah, all the way up the mountain to the spa. No radios. We've got to, like, spy on them and take their pictures without any makeup and their hair all unblow dried <gasps> Yeah, then we can publish them in your thing and show the whole world how terrible they look and, and ruin, ruin their, their reputations. Yeah? Yeah. May I help you with something? Um, yeah. So, like, where's this wilderness spa you're going to? We need to know so we... Ow! So we can tell our readers where not to go. As far away from you two as possible. So, like, what country is the farthest away from us? What's taking so Come long? Come on, Chloe, move it! Be right there. She said that 40 minutes ago. Run! Ooh, ah. All packed! Let's hit it. Chloe, I know you have baggage, but this is ridiculous. It's all nature stuff. <laughs> Yasmin, you told me what to bring. Supplies for a third world country? Yeah, Chloe, we each brought a single backpack. Your paraphernalia screams amateur. Please, I can totally rough it. Chloe, you may rock at fashion and shopping, but a camper you are not. Dinner in a movie says you don't last five minutes in the great outdoors. How about something more creative? If I win, you have to carry me all the way around the high school track. <laughs> and if I, I mean, when I win? I'll carry you. Whatever. Now lose the suitcases, Angel. I want to be soaking in a hot tub by sunset. Where to? That way. So, um, where's the elevator? Ah, uh, my new top! I didn't think the forest would be quite so branchy. Bunny Boo, are we almost there yet? Um, just a little bit more. Do you think we'll come to any good bungee spots? I brought cords. Cool cat, bungee jumping could permanently damage natural vegetation. See those? They provide a habitat and nourishment for the striped fire-tongued dog snake. It's an endangered species and... Oh, 911 fashion emergency! We gotta get to a shoe repair shop fast! A shoe repair shop? Uh, okay, we'll just call 1-800-Chloe's-Gone-Bananas. I can't believe we can't, like, snoop through their stuff. Now we're never gonna find out where they went. Hey, I bet Cameron and Dylan know. Wait, what if we, like, tricked them? Tell them a really scary story so they'll go after them. <laughs> Ow! You had a fly in your dew. See? Ugh, these bugs are eating me alive. Uh, I hope there aren't any insects at the spa. Sasha, are we almost there yet? Ooh, I don't get it. My hiking device indicated a shortcut. Your device is bogus. We're supposed to be getting foot massages and munching organic popcorn by now. Ugh, if you're so hungry, then Martha stood up a sandwich or something. Uh, hello? No one told me to bring food. Excuse me? I specifically said bring grub. I did. The grubbiest sweatpants I could find. Last year's. Chloe, grub is camper speak for food? Uh, 
how was I supposed to know that? This hike to the spa was only supposed to be three hours long. At least get out the water, Chloe. Um, you did pack the water, didn't you? Yes, I totally packed the water. Phew, you had me worried for a second, but then I kind of unpacked it. You, you what? what? I needed more room for accessories. Chloe! <laughs> Chloe actually went hiking in Wild State Park? <laughs> Dude, tell me about it. She is never gonna make it in the wilderness. Well, well, imagine, like, running into you guys here. Yeah, what are the chances? Considering this is where I live. Like, why are you still here when your little friends are in such life-threatening danger? What are you babbling about? There's a vicious bear loose in Wild State Park, and it's already eaten, like, three people. So, like, your loser friends are about to be Bratz kebabs. Chomp, chomp! Oh no! We have to save the girls! <laughs> Can you believe they, like, fell for it? Here, Chloe, have some fresh mountain water. But I only drink bottled water. It's fine, trust me. Sushi. Double ew. Look what I found. <gasps> it's only a garter snake. Hey, Jade, you like snakes, don't you? I do. I like snakes at the zoo behind a nice thick plate of bulletproof glass. But look at these beautiful colors and see how friendly he is. Thanks. I've already got friends. Hey, Chloe! Chloe? Oh, hi there. Get it away before it bites me and my arm swells up and turns black and blue and... You're not afraid of this little guy, are you? Garter snakes aren't poisonous, they're harmless. Enjoy your reptile. I'm going to the bathroom. There are bathrooms here? Oh, lots of them? Like the one you're standing next to? <coughs> you're going to pee in nature? Scheduled interruption. We have breaking news tonight. A grizzly bear has been spotted in Wild State Park. The bear is presumed dangerous, even deadly. Stay out of Wild State Park. Ah! Ah! Bad news, people. Man eating grizzly bear on the loose. Vicious and deadly. Arm yourselves. What are you going to do? Pluck and crimp it to death? First, I gave up my entire weekend to spend it in a mud hole under the boiling sun in the woods. It's a spa. Then, Sasha totally punks us by getting us beyond lost. Uh, my navigating equipment was subpar. And then, Jade guilts me into swallowing a predator fish that's been living in polluted waters and could be carrying a deadly virus so that I could have contracted some horrible fin and mouth disease. You mean I saved us from dehydration. And now we're going to be chewed up and swallowed by a grizzly bear? This is a natural selection of the worst kind! Um, Sasha, Jade, how did you find out about the bear? Um... um excuse me? Radio? Television? I can't believe it! You guys broke the rules! We weren't supposed to bring any electronics! It was the season finale of Extreme Fashion Makeovers! I needed my RDA of hip-hop! I don't care! That reeks! At least Yasmin's right about something. We had a deal. You guys agreed to... <laughs> a cell phone is a vital piece of emergency equipment, and I'll have you know that a bear on the loose definitely qualifies as an emergency. Uh-oh. The beeping was telling me that the battery's dead. What now? We pack up as fast as we can and get out of here. No way. We'll never get down the mountain before dark. We'll have to wait it out until morning. Until morning? What will we eat? Where will we sleep? How will we survive? Ladies, there's only one thing to do. No, please don't say it. It's time to set up camp. Ah! Uh -oh. some 
parts. Hold on. Flowered tights? I wanted to match nature. Way to go. go! Time to catch us some grub. We got the blue sky, sunshine. Uh, get away, find a play. Everybody say it, baby. Good time, good time. Outside, uh, at the campground, hanging out, getting out from the city. Blue sky, blue sky. All right, uh, living out blues, ready for one fun celebration. Uh, night time, night time. Start by, uh, now we're grouping it, loving it. All my girls on vacation. the other ones down so they'll all be even. Never mind, it took me a month to get them all just the perfect height, and why does everything always happen to me, and what? Chloe, that fish was gonna be our dinner. That fish? Ugh. Let's start a fire now so I have light when it gets dark. smell mmm that's the smell of a man in touch with nature yeah you should be in touch with a better diet Chloe Yasmin Jane Sasha hey I think that's a shortcut up to the trail wait Dylan stop what you're standing in poison ivy You have to have a weapon in here. Chloe! A girl still needs to look good in the wilderness. <gasps> look what I found! It's a fire-tongued dog snake! Isn't she beautiful? Yippee! <gasps> Tell me that's not what I think it is. Come on, what else you got in here? <gasps> that's definitely the sound of a bear. It's getting closer. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Hey, that's an endangered species! My research tells me that bears and striped fire-tongued dog snakes are natural enemies. I wish I'd said that. I found a few acorns, girls. Stew for dinner. Chloe, where's the pan you were supposed to bring? Right here. What's that? It's to cook in. It's what I use at home. You can't put that on a fire? <sighs> oh! Oh! Man, get away from me! I don't want your poison, Ivy! We're totally lost. I think we're stuck here for the night. <sighs> Might as well make the best of it. Did you bring eats? No. <sighs> Matches? No. Sleeping bag? No! Dude, you were not sharing mine. <laughs> Fine! Then you're not sleeping in my tent! Uh, ow! Shh! I didn't say anything. I said, shh, the boys are stopping for the night. Get our supplies. I thought you were gonna bring the supplies. No, you! You! Twice as many times as you say you! No! <laughs> you! You! Stop scratching, you're gonna make it worse. What are you? My grandmother? I said quit it. Uh, that wasn't me, dude. Huh. Uh. Ah! Good thing we brought the big tent. <laughs> The bear is back! Death, destruction, bite marks! That was actually my stomach. Oh. Could this be any worse? This is 
like all your fault for not packing a tent. Well, at least I was smart enough to bring an umbrella, you bonehead. Like we could sleep in that... Oh, <gasps> you dork, open it! This looks so much better. And I'm freezing, and I'm hungry, and I'm dirty, and my skin needs to be exfoliated, and I have to go to the bathroom. Then go! A, I don't do nature, and B, I don't want to be a snack for a bear! I don't suppose that was someone's stomach? No! There's no point trying to sleep in this. You might as well just keep looking for the girls. Oh, man. <gasps> but Prince of Doom! Oh my gosh! He'll be back. I can just feel it. He probably went to get Mama Bear and Papa Bear and all pounce on us at once and devour us each into four mouth-sized bites and... Uh, I know I heard something that time. I heard it too. If it's a bear, we're bummed, dude. Hey, what's that? Okay, golden. Warm, dry, home sweet home. Us. Eat him! He has more meat on him! I can't look! Hey! Yeah? Why couldn't it be the bear? The Tweevils are killing me! This is rank! Big time rank! Chloe? My special honey and oatmeal-based facial mask. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that bears like honey. Cool <laughs> thing. Awesome. Yes. Cool. I won my bet with Cameron. Poor guy couldn't lift his arms for a week after carrying me around the high school track. And our camping adventure made for a radical article in next month's issue. Roughing it in style. Not. Okay, so we took some journalistic license. But at least we now know that the saying is true. You can catch more bears with honey than vinegar. Or something like that. This is what I call camping chic. Totally. You know, I was almost beginning to enjoy camping. I said almost. Jacuzzi, sweet! Hey guys, here for some spa action? 
We're gonna do the massage thing, so we can forget about those scary creatures that chased us in the woods. You mean the bear? No, the Tweevils. Hi! There you are! Oh, uh, let's hit the weight room. Dude, I'm way ahead of you. I don't suppose there's, like, room for... No! no. Casey? Kirsty! Where are those useless twin Pop-Tarts? <sighs> Mother of Pink, I'll just have to check myself in. <laughs> it's a good thing this singles weekend for the rich and fabulous has me in a good mood, my precious wishes. <gasps> I just know I'm going to be Mr. Right. <gasps> ah! Mr. Wrong! Byron Power. Badine Maxwell. The ill feeling is absolutely positively mutual. Ugh, mother of pink. Well, what an unpleasant fella. Can I help you with those? Someone as beautiful as you isn't meant to carry her own bags. How dare you speak to me without being spoken to first? Do you know who I am? I am Berdeen Maxwell, founder, president, and editor of Your Thing magazine. And the reigning, the reigning queen, queen of, of fashion. fashion. Okay, I'm impressed. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Wait till the guys see. Hey! No fair taking pictures in the weight room! Oh. Nigel! Hello, Chloe. Did you have a nice trip? 911, old boyfriend alert. That's Nigel. I met him in England. He thinks he's all that because he's a duke. But if you ask me, he's a total royal loser. <laughs> Chloe, you okay? Hey, I didn't mean that... Uh, well, if it isn't the jerk of latex. The Duke of Lessex. Probably hard to hear with all that motorcycle grease in your ears. Hmm. Shows your best side, I think. Ta-ta. That guy reeks. Totally, but can't keep the girls waiting. Hey! You'll never guess who I ran into. Nigel! <gasps> the Duke of Dis? Must be here for the rich and scorching singles weekend. That's right. I read that his family lost their entire fortune. Ooh, and his mother ran off with the groundskeeper. Ooh, and his father joined a cult. Ooh, and his sister tattooed her tongue. Ooh, he must be here to bag a rich girlfriend. Or a girlfriend with a rich bag. Let's go, people. It's Medicare time. <sighs> Can you smell it, girls? Ew! 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 Ew. Not me, you lowlives! I'm talking about the scent of love. In the air! I may have met the man of my dreams. Provided he meets my impossibly high standards, of course. His name's Damon. He's rich, he's handsome, and he's rich. Now, where did I leave my ten-page? Are you perfect enough for Birdine questionnaire? I've got to find it before our date tomorrow. But, like, what about the wilderness challenge? You, like, sign us all up. Ah! My nose! Ah, wilderness schmilderness! I've got a forest of feelings running wild already. Right here. Really? I like it that exact same feeling. Mom says it's gas. Hey, Angel, relax. Yeah, the girls with a passion for fashion are supposed to be chillin', not illing. I can't help it. The more I think about that jerk Nigel being here, the angrier I get. I figured that, so I ordered some major tension relief. Huh? Hello, I am Gertrude. You call for in-room massage. Three in-room massages, actually. Excellent. Who first? <gasps> she is! Fine, but I don't think there's any human strong enough to unkink my neck today. Ooh, I could be wrong. Silence! Ah, that Gertrude sure knows her stuff. Totally. totally. Guys, guess what? The hotel's having a competition to see who's best at surviving in the wilderness. Just like the reality show on TV. And guess who the host is? Our old friend from England, Byron Powell. Cool! cool. And I signed us all up. Not, Not cool. cool. Guys, it'll be fun. <laughs>
What? My rings, my bracelets, my necklace, I've been robbed! How could you, Yaz? We just had a wilderness challenge, and based on our performance, I don't think we're ready for prime time. It's gonna be a piece of cake. Now we're seasoned pros. Jade, you are with Kirsty and Casey. And the final member of your team is Dylan. Okay! Oh, no. All right, now that the last name has been drawn, the Hotel Q Wilderness Challenge can begin. I've already had enough challenges. Come on, cool cat, it's just for fun. Have you decided what to call your team? We're the Pinkaroos! Here's what we think, the other team stinks! Go Pinkaroos! Yeah! Edifying. By proclamation of the Duke of Lessex, henceforth we shall be known as the Woodland Adventurers! Oh, man! Well, I suppose you'd prefer the Grease Monkeys. No, Royal, stop that. <laughs> oh, he's just playing. <laughs> what happened? Oh, whoa, whoa, it's a slippery spot. Oh, Sugar, you're gonna love archery. We have tournaments all the time on my various estates. You say you never shot an arrow before? No, but I've thrown razor-sharp pencils at my useless interns. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent sense of humor. Yeah, you know, on the surface, archery seems quite simple. You just aim for the bullseye. But actually, you have to take into account trajectory, bow tension, wind, even the humidity. <laughs> Or you could just let loose. Come on, adventurers! Tug that rope! Yes, quit slacking! Hey, I'm pulling as hard as I can. Come on! There's only four of them! Can I get a little bit more of a noble effort? Is that a not terribly clever reference to my family title? Perhaps you think I'm not trying? Hey, if the prissy little shoe fits! Oh, look. A snake. Ah! Hey! A snake? Ew! Shut up and tug! Oh, you shut up and tug! Make me waffle butt! Yeah! Oh, yeah, what the hell you waffle butt? Ow! Round one to the Woodland yeah, Adventurers! I think I did something. Yeah, you nearly made us lose. You gotta pull your weight, Yasmin. What if we'd lost this round? We'd be facing elimination and humiliation and degradation. Okay, we'd okay. Never be... I'm sorry. I'll do better next round. The next challenge is easy. Until it gets hard. <laughs> Remarkable! I've never seen so much raw talent in a beginner. I'm just inspired. My dear, you are the queen of archery. Mine! Don't touch. Get your own tiara. <laughs> well, I was just trying to... <sighs> How about a nice iced tea? The team with the last man standing on their platform wins. <laughs> What's so hard about this? Give me a lounge chair and some sunscreen. I'll stay out here until dark. Open the boxes! Too close to the edge. Oh no, you don't, you jerk waddy. Ah! It's okay. If I just stand still, he'll go away eventually. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. Ah! Now it's getting interesting. Only one left on each team. 
Jade with the Pinkaroos and Yasmin of the Woodland Adventurers. Oh, you poor little thing. You must be so scared. Come here. It's okay. Wait, ow! <gasps> My ankle! Ah! Round two goes to the Pinkaroos. Yes! Woohoo! Pinkaroos forever! Now, what happened to that snake? Sugar, I own homes all over the world. How many? <laughs> Race horses. How many? Yachts. How many? But not until I met you did I realize just how empty my life has really been. <gasps> because... No private jets? Here we are. Something wrong with your leg, pretty princess? Huh? Oh, I hit the water a little funny back there. I'll be okay. Well... The competition is tied at one round apiece, but we'll certainly have a winner after this last round. Either the Woodland Adventurers, the Pinkaroos, or him! Oh no! Not the bear! Quick! Where's a good tree? Hey! The Woodland Adventurers do not run from challenges, right? Right! Right. For your third and final challenge, you'll split into pairs to sneak into the cave and pluck a whisker from the bear's face. Stalin feather? Where'd you get it? On the ground back there. Maybe I'll design a hat around it. Rock him? Pay attention. The team that collects the most bear whiskers wins. Unless they get eaten, in which case, they lose. <laughs> uh, but we've got one more player than they do. Someone will have to sit out. Oh, I'll do it. I'm allergic to bear fur. Chicken? I certainly am not. Fine! I'll prove it to you. Good. You two can be one team, Chloe and I will be another. Yasmin, I think it'll be better if you sit out. What? Why? Uh, we're in this to win, and you just haven't been showing any killer instinct. Sure I have. When? When you tried to cuddle with a rat? He was cold. Fine, I'll do whatever you need me to do. You two up for this? No prob. We're, like, not afraid of wild animals. We once had a guinea pig. Yeah! Practically the same thing, except this guinea pig has six-inch razor-sharp claws. Then someone should, like, really give him a manicure. Hurry up and get a whisker! No way! What if he, like, eats me? Well, that's better than getting my favorite ensemble all bloody! <laughs> Well, that was almost amusing. Next, Nigel Cameron! Okay, I'll pluck the whisker, but if he wakes up, you've got to distract him by throwing this stick. What a wimp! I was blinded by a pitiful pedigree. Hmm. Another failed attempt, I presume. Yeah, thanks to Lord Lamo. Oh, let me see your family again. Of course, sugar. Oh, they're simply perfection. Spoilsport here is covering up his whiskers. What are we gonna do? Get him to move that paw. Still have that feather you found? Scorching. So take your choice. Tickle or pluck? Come on, Mr. Bear. Aren't you ticklish? Oh, the heck with it. <laughs> Gitchy, gitchy, go! Oh! Ah! Bear attack! Bear attack! Ah! People, we got one! Yeah, after I fought off a violent bear attack. Chloe, all he did was roll over. But I could have been smothered! 
starved to death, flattened into one big pancake, and then buried in a giant pizza box and eaten by some hungry children. Anyway, it's a tie at one whisker apiece. Well, I guess each pair will have to go again. Wait! I'll go. It's my turn. Sure you want to go it alone, pretty princess? Yeah, it's dangerous in there. Did I mention I barely escaped within an inch of my life? I'm not worried. I'm going in for the team. Yasmin, wait! Is she limping? I'm not sure. Now this private retreat of yours at the top of a remote Himalayan mountain. Is there a good dry cleaner there? I hate it when my clothes don't feel fresh. After all, I am the reigning queen of fashion. Yes, uh... No! Nothing to it. Just pick a whisker and pull. Ow! you were really hurt. I did. Yeah, now I remember she did. We wanted to win so badly we just didn't listen. Oh my gosh, I feel terrible. I bet you never want to speak to us again. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Come on, you guys, let's get out of here. Yes, before our furry friend discovers only fools fall in love. All right. Now, the sun rises in the east. Or is it the West? I'm not sure. Well, why does it look like I've been here before? Because I have! Ah! Help! Help! Ah! Help me! Ah! How are you feeling, pretty princess? It's only a minor sprain. I should be up and around by tomorrow. You want a gallon of room service ice cream? A massage? I'm fine, you guys, really. Sorry, pretty princess, but we can't help it. Yeah, we should have paid more attention when you said you were hurt. It's okay. I knew how important winning was to you guys, and I didn't want to let you down. Hey, no stupid contest is worth any pain for our pretty princess. Thanks, that means a lot. Hey, guys, I just ran into Byron downstairs. He sent this for you. <gasps> the Wilderness Challenge Trophy? Yasmin won it with the last whisker. Congratulations. We won after all! Yes! See? No pain, no gain. Sasha! Sasha! Uh-oh! My jewelry! I've been ruled! Not again! Oh my gosh! That's the second jewel theft in less than 24 hours! And my gut says this is just the beginning. I've got to hide all my bling bling. I heard the thief left no clues. My dangly chandelier earrings with the pretty crystals? Anne could strike again at any time. And my lucky charm bracelet with a silver skateboard and 14 karat gold angel? The hotel is offering a $10,000 award for the jewels returned. And my rhinestone toe ring and... $10,000?! Guys, we have a case to crack. Suspect numero uno, Damon. Self-described billionaire playboy is into fast boats, fine foods, and revolting women. Ew! Damon was hanging near the crime site when the theft occurred. 
anyone warped enough to hook up with Verdeen is warped enough to steal. He's mine. Suspect two, Nigel Forrester, ninth Duke of Lessex. Oh, what did I ever see in him? I'd like to know the answer to that question. Recently bankrupt Royal needs cashola and therefore has a motivation. And besides, we don't like him. Uh, let me at him. Byron Powell, reality show whiz kid, closet jewel thief, or both. Also in the vicinity at the time of the crime. Dylan, your brain is so fried. Byron would so never do such a thing, and I'll prove it. Suspect number four, Gertrude, the hotel masseuse with the gentle touch of a forklift. You know, she's probably got room access, and I did not like the way she was checking out my bling when I was getting a massage. People, she's mine. Your mission, guys, since you've decided to accept it, is to catch the jewel thief red-handed. Should you be captured or killed, I will disavow any knowledge of your existence and get first dibs on your CDs. Goodbye, Goodbye Dylan. Dylan! I can't believe Verdine is, like, making us work. I know. You'd think with all her money, she'd be, like, able to hire someone to do our work for us. <gasps> Maybe she's, like, secretly broke because practically no one reads Your Thing magazine. <laughs> And she, like, already spent all of her savings on those ugly pink pumps and that plastic surgery. Yeah! She's probably the one who's been stealing all the jewelry so she can pay for another facelift. Yeah! yeah. We should, like, turn her in and collect that $10,000! Yay! <laughs> and then, like, start our own magazine! Yeah! We can call it K after Kirsty! No, my name, K after Casey! Wait, we're, like, gonna have to get proof. But, like, how? Yeah, we're on the case to investigate each and every one before the day is done. No one's gonna get away once you know we're on the case. We right the wrong. Never gonna stop until the cover is caught. Suspicious eyes What are they trying to hide? We're gonna get to the get truth, to the truth Because we always do So let's just ask him. No way! If he isn't the thief, we offend him. If he is, we tip him off we're on to him. I say we search his room for definite proof. And if we find the diamonds? Then we have no other choice but to turn him in. Byron, there you are. May we join you? Please! Well, actually, I'm in a bit of a hurry. This will just take a sec. See, Chloe has this awesome idea for a reality show. The two-in-one miracle stick. 
It pushes back cuticles and opens hotel doors. Let's get moving before Byron gets back. Hotel safe's open. Nothing's in it. Wait, wait, I've got another idea. It's called Extreme Truth or Dare. You dare someone to go on a blind date wearing bright green polyester. Ugh, Chloe, that's so cruel. Then the guy turns up in an orange kilt. See, he's in on the gag. in a mall with just one credit card between them. Chloe, your ideas are absolutely, positively the worst for TV shows I've ever heard. Now, if you'll excuse me... But wait! Chloe, please, show some mercy. Guys, you're on. Let's do it. This bracelet must be worth a fortune. This is so not looking good for our man. Hey, yes. Got it. Byron's on his way back. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what do you say? A reality show called Hotel Football, huh? No, no, no! Now out of my way! <laughs> Score! You insufferable frat boys! I order you to cease and desist this instant. Okay, so American football's not your thing. Um, how about... Look, I've absolutely, positively had it with you and your cohort's ridiculous ideas. Would you please leave the ideas to the professionals? And speaking of leaving, would you delinquents kindly exit my room and leave me be? Dude, why didn't you say so? Come on, Cameron, let's go. Jade and Sasha aren't in there. Oh, what a relief. We're gonna get something to eat. Catch you guys later. What are you doing? Trying to listen in on Byron's phone conversation. Everything is going just as planned. Wait, let me write this down. Mm-hmm. Yep, I think so too. This is going to be our biggest hit yet. So we're gonna go check it out. Later. I wonder where Jade and Sasha are. Byron, you are unmistakably breathtakingly dashing. Oh, I thought he'd never leave. No, oh, forgot my. <gasps> ah! We are so busted. Chop chop with my new tiara. Damon's going to be here in two hours for our date, and I'm not even half ready yet. So, um, Verdine, like, you know when those jewel thefts occurred? Like, where were you? Hmm, let's see. I believe I was having my mustache wax. Wait, what business is it of yours? Shine! Shine! Guilty with a capital Q. So, like, how long are you going to be out tonight? Let's see. Dinner, dancing, marriage proposal. Wait. Why are you asking me all these interminable questions? Because we, like, need to know how long you're gonna be. <laughs> no reason! What if that bear comes back? I think he's still mad at me for plucking his whisker during the survival competition. Don't worry. I'll tempt him away with my honey face mask. Worked a few days ago. It'll work again.
Oh my gosh! Hmm, my guess is it doesn't belong to the bear. Diamonds! Hello, girls. <gasps> May I help you? Funny, you don't look like room service. And you don't look like a jewel thief, but looks are so deceiving. Have you absolutely positively lost your senses? Yasmin saw you swipe a diamond necklace from a hotel room. Oh, that. <laughs> I can explain. I have a new reality show, To Catch a Thief, and I've come to capture world-renowned jewel thief Damon Van Doren. Damon? What Yasmin saw was me replacing real diamonds with fakes. If Damon suddenly skips town, I could be in trouble for letting him escape with the actual jewels. Right. And you just happen to carry around fakes get enough to fool Damon and the victims. No way this is fake. Wrong. I had it made last week. The possible victims were happy to let my staff copy their pieces in exchange for the once-in-a-lifetime chance to appear on my new television show. Ah, people are such attention freaks. So, would you girls be interested in helping me catch a thief? <gasps> Will we be on your show? All right, girls. This should keep you until I return from my date. Now remember, one move and you'll set off the motion detector, which will in turn release the arrow latch. But what if I have hiccups? Well, then your little friend gets heartburn like she's never had before. Ciao, ladies. Oh, pretty princess, this is the end. We'll never see Bunny Boo or Cool Cat again or go to our senior prom or graduate or return that DVD and the late fights will go through the roof and my parents Come, will... calm down. You'll move and set off the motion detector. Now, come on, we've got to figure a way out of here. Right, right. Oh, if only we were wearing arrowproof vests, although they'd probably be really tacky looking. Chloe, that's it! Tacky looking arrowproof vests? No, my necklace. The silver medallion is like armor. If I can get it over my heart without setting off the motion detector, we can trigger the arrow and get out of here. So, tell me more about you. Well, I had a very rough childhood. My father was sick. Depressing! Tell me more about your houses. Well, my villa in Italy. They just sat down. Come on, let's search the room for the jewels. Yeah. People, I'm worried. Chloe and Yasmin don't just disappear. They're not at the pool. But if you're looking for Damon, he's at the restaurant with Burdine. At least they're getting what they both deserve. Jane, let's tell Damon. If he has anything to do with Chloe and Yasmin's disappearance, he'll lead us to them. Girls, Damon is dangerous and more than likely armed. Are you sure you're up to it? Totally. Okay, then. I'll stake out Badine's room in case the gruesome twosome returns. Dylan, Cam, keep searching the hotel for Yasmin and Chloe. Got it. Well, my, is that Donald Trump? Where? <laughs> Oops, I was wrong. My mistake. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. How many bank accounts do you have? Offshore or onshore? Oh, is that your dime? Yes! Look, it's Royale! <gasps> my baby! He's supposed to be with my good-for-nothing interns! Come on! We've got to find him! Oh, if one hair on his precious little head is hurt, I'll have those insufferable girls hung by their toenails! On second thought, it wasn't Royale. It was a puddle. I mean, a poodle. Please, sugar, sit down. Enjoy your coffee. You must be mad. I only drink non-fat half soy decaf cappuccino. Waiter! Get over here at once and remove this sludge! Oh, hurry up! You weigh like a ton. Do you see any jewelry? Um, I'm looking. I'm looking. Hello? Oh, thanks a lot, Casey. I missed, like, a really important call. Ooh, 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 ah! Ooh, get off of me, dork monkey! We're, like, never gonna find those jewels, or get a $10,000 reward, or start our own magazine. I mean, we've looked, like, everywhere. Except in her car. Yeah! Berdine and Damon must have already left. Oops, forgot to turn my cell phone back on. Hey, there's a message. 
It's from Chloe. They're checking out the camping area. Let's go! Yeah, maybe we should, like, check the trunk again. Uh, Casey, why are the trees moving? invite you in to show you my astonishing collection of pink pumps. Well, I thought you'd never ask. Ah! Mother of pink! I've been robbed! Ticket to the retirement planet of the filthy rich. Damon, isn't it? Just the man I wanted to see. Actually, now is not a good time. Oh, why, that looks just like. Oh! <laughs> Let's see building maintenance get him out of this. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, Yaz, are you sure this is going to work? We have no choice. One, two, three! Crew Magnon. <gasps> oh, my rhinestone tiara! It's gone! You stole it! Give it back, you thief! I didn't touch it! Liar! Give it back! Give it back! Give it back! Wow! $10,000 for catching Damon! And all we had to do was risk our lives! Girls, once again, I commemorate you on a job well done. What are you gonna do with the reward money? Buy some diamonds. Not, Not funny! funny. Actually, we're going to donate our reward money to the Q Hotel Wilderness Program for City Kids. Excellent. Oh, oh my precious, precious. Oh, no. It's the abominable pig woman. Cheerio. <laughs> May your heart never break like mine. Mother of Pink, my car. What happened to my car? No one leaves this hotel until I get an answer. <laughs> Mystery solved. Damon did 15 to 20, Berdine discovered that love hurts, and the girls with a passion for fashion got a great cover story for our magazine, How to Catch a Thief in Style. 